Hi there, it's me again, your Lavanya. We are continuing our discussion on Thiruvarut Payan, verse number 32. This is giving again an analogy, an analogy uh, explanation. So, if you look at the verse, the verse goes this way. Perukka nuharavinai peroliyai yengum arukkanena nirkum arul. It is a very simple analogy that we are going to discuss about in this particular verse. We all know the functionality of sun. We are very aware of what is the, uh, what is the grace of sun. Imagine the moment we get the sun out as in night is done, the night is going off and we are getting the sun slowly the rays is coming up. At that point in time, the heat is not so great, but we start to feel the light. We start to feel the warmth. We start to feel the energetic rays. And that is the time flowers start blooming, leaves start to be awake, birds start to fly around. You can hear the chirping of the birds early in the morning, which is the most pleasant thing in the world. Do we take time to smell the roses? Do we take time to listen to the chirping of the birds and all these? Actually, no. Because of our busy life, we just ignore all these small, small things. But have you ever uh, uh, understood that this, these are the real happiness for the life, real happiness for the soul? Actually, no. That is the unfortunate truth. No. Now, let's look at the functioning of sun. When it comes up, it brightens the day. It brightens the earth, it brightens the lives. As simple as that. We all know there is a country or rather there are three countries which doesn't see night for six months. It doesn't see day for six months. You guys can imagine which country I'm talking about. Yes, you're right. Sweden, Denmark kind of countries. If you look at it, continuously we have six months of darkness. Continuously you have six months of light. If you want to wake up and go for work, it will be pitch dark. All you have to do is set an alarm, wake up in the middle of the night according to us looking at the sky and then go to work. So it all happens based on clocks but not based on the biological clock. Same ways during the day, six months of day. If you want to sleep, you have to put in the curtains, make the room dark and go to sleep. If you look at it, the depression rate is quite high in those countries. Its simple reason is because of sun, lack of sun. You, we have to imagine how blessed we are to have the sun's rays. We have to be happy about it. We have to thank God for that. Now imagine, when we talk about uh, this particular sun, what is the functioning of sun, right? It brightens up every soul and at the same time, it gives us the power to function. Why are we functioning? Because we have to get rid of this karma. Good or bad karma, we have to get rid of it. So what happens is we need to do certain actions in order to get rid of this karma. And that is what sun is helping us. Without sun, we would be just sleeping. And when we are sleeping, obviously we don't do any actions. And those actions are not going to help in nullifying any of the karma that we have accumulated. So the accumulated karma, in order to nullify that, we have to start uh, realizing it, realizing the benefit for those. And when we say realizing the benefit, it happens only based on actions. And what are the actions we are going to do? It is because of the daytime sun's rays so directly as well as indirectly sun helps in getting rid of our karma now that's the same analogy we are looking at when we are talking about grace when we are talking about arul arul is nothing but the grace when we are talking about the grace what is the functioning of the grace very simple similar to how the sun's rays is energizing this earth grace is energizing the soul so in order for the soul to be energized, the soul to start thinking about self-realization, start thinking about Almighty, all it needs is grace. And the grace is the most important factor, important element. That is what our second verse or rather cumulatively 32nd verse talks about. I'll come back again with the next verse very soon. Until then, bye-bye.